But first, we have team coverage on the guilty verdict reached in the Tammy Moore trial. Patrick Lloyd and Marissa Tancino both live from the courthouse tonight. First, let's send it to Marissa, who's been following this trial for more than two weeks since it began. Marissa, for a long trial, didn't take the jury long at all to reach that guilty verdict. Yeah, that's right, Eric and Meredith. It was only about four hours before the jury reached a verdict. This comes after two full weeks of witness testimony, evidence ranging from phone records to surveillance video, and over 30 witnesses called by the state to the stand that the jury was able to make a decision. We, the jury, find the defendant, Tammy Kaysen Moore, guilty of kidnapping. Quiet sobs come from Heather Elvis's family and friends in the courtroom when the verdict came down, but Moore maintained her innocence before the judge when able to speak. I feel like I'm begging for my life for something that I didn't do that I didn't have anything to do with. The Elvis family also spoke to the judge before Moore was sentenced, asking the judge to impose the maximum. Because she stole my sister from me. <laughs> and five years ago, this world swallowed our family whole. Moore was ultimately sentenced to 30 years in prison for each charge. Two sentences she'll serve at the same time. She hugged her family before exiting the courtroom. Moore's defense attorney, Greg McCollum, spoke with us after the verdict was announced. Well, the jury was put in a very tough position, uh, if, if, and, and they didn't ask to be jurors, and I understand that. We appreciate them serving, uh, but we're very disappointed with the outcome. But McCollum says this isn't the end for the defense. The jury verdict, it is what it is, and we're in the process. Uh, we'll be filing an appeal, and we don't think that this is the end of the matter. Regardless of the sentencing, the Elvis family says this is something a verdict can't fix. I know mean, that she has told me. I, I feel them greatly, but she didn't think about her children when she made this decision. But now her family's remembering Heather, hoping this will bring some sort of peace to her. And I ask that you give me that because she deserves it because she can't stand here by herself. Wherever she may be. Now, Tammy Moore was taken straight out of the courtroom after sentencing this afternoon. Her attorney, Greg McCollum, tells us that right now they're trying to get the gag order lifted that they've been under for four years and hopefully will be able to make a statement then. Right now, our team coverage, though, continues with Patrick Lloyd.